Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create operating system CMD exec proxy in SQL Server. Uh, the things that we're going to learn in this video, number one, what is operating system CMD exec proxy? Number two, how to create operating system CMD exec credentials and how to create proxy using these credentials. Scenario up here is that we have a um, CMD script that uh, resides on domain SQL Server 1 and script says that okay uh, go ahead and connect to SQL Server 2 domain SQL Server 2 using a user that only exists on SQL Server 2 it does not exist on SQL Server 1 so we are going to take this credential uh, take this scenario and create a operating system CMD exact proxy so let's go ahead and do this Here's my SQL Server. Uh, this is the SQL Server source where I want to create the job. Uh, and I want to connect to this SQL Server using, um, using a, a user that is not existed on this particular server, SQL prod, but it exists on SQL Server uh, mirror. Let me show you real quick. This is the user we're going to use, uh, Tech Brothers CMD exec. And let me show you from this SQL Server side that this SQL Server up here in the login, this user does not exist. So what we're going to do, create a proxy on this server and tell that proxy that go ahead and use the credential of uh, uh, Tech Brothers SQL CMD, which resides on this SQL Server right here, a CMD, and connect, go grab whatever I want, uh, I want you to do using CMD. So let's go ahead and first thing we need to do is create credentials. In order to create credential on our source server where we want to run the job, we need to go on SQL Server Security, SQL Server Instance Security, and go to the credential. And right click New Credential. We're going to CMD Credential. I, I just wanted to name it uh, CMD credential because this credential is for command line. So I'm going to use up here the location is not TB SQL. So it, we we're going to look for this user in entire directory. So we're going to go ahead and use this user. Keep in mind that this user does not exist on our source SQL server. So you need to have password to use credential for particular user all right so our credentials are created as you can see we're going to create a proxy using these credentials so in order to create the proxy you need to go on SQL Server agent and up here is the operating system proxy so we're gonna go ahead right click new proxy and I'm going to do CMD DB info I'm going to run a command line and run a script, command line script, that will get me the database information on SQL Server 2, which is outside uh, from SQL Server 1, uh, SQL Server prod right here. So, but the job is going to run on SQL Server prod 1. So let's go ahead and select our credentials. Credential would be, we just created the credential, CMD cr credential, okay okay if you wanted to have other users to use this credential which are not not sysadmin you can add those users and they'll be able to see uh, these uh, this proxy uh, that you just created and can use that in their script as well so I'm not going to do this go ahead and click OK and refresh the operating system proxy as you can see CMD DB info proxy is created now we need to create a job on SQL Server prod basically and use this proxy so we're gonna go ahead click on new job DB info CMD and we're going to go on step one we're gonna click on new DB info CMD that's my step name and I'm going to use um, command line in order to uh, grab database information so we're going to go ahead and use run as our uh, proxy right here CMD info so up here what I want to do is SQL CMD uh, and then dash server 
and then I'm going to do TBS client that's my server name backslash my SQL server instance which is SQL mirror and dash input I I want it to run this particular script this is the DB SQL script that resides on our local C backslash and this is the DB script that has just a command saying select asterisk from sys databases so what we want to do is we want to use this we want to uh, connect to SQL Server TBS client and run this um, this particular command and see if our job gets successful because this is gonna use uh, tech brothers back, backslash SQL CMD user which doesn't exist on our server where we're creating the job so that's where we use basically the um, proxy account so we're gonna go ahead and click OK click OK alright let's go ahead and um, refresh the jobs and here is our job let's go ahead and run it job succeeded right here so let's go ahead and look at the history and see if we get right here the information about the databases which was select asterisk right here select executed as tech brother CMD and it grab all the databases that reside on the uh, SQL server uh, our um, uh, TBS client uh, SQL mirror server so let's go ahead and do one more little test what I'm going to do is try to change the step and try to tell it okay go ahead and connect to SQL mirror just to see SQL prod and I'm going to change the server name and see what kind of error we get so okay we're gonna go ahead and click OK and let's go ahead and run the job and job failed let's look at the job history and see why it failed as you can see right here it says login failed for the user tech brother CMD because this tech brother CMD does not exist on our SQL uh, prod that is our source so this is where we use proxy accounts and we don't need to create users on our source server I hope this video helps